Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Attack on Titan the final season episode number 5. Okay, uh, the previous episode uh, was uh, one week, not one week, two week before. Uh, the previous week uh, the episode was delayed and today we were supposed to be in episode number 6 but this is episode number 5. So yeah. And um, in the previous episode we got like at the end we got to see Reiner finally meeting Eren after so many years and <clears throat> and also we got to see like uh, like Eren's grandfather as well and stuff like those happened in episode number five and like the real question is what Eren is going to talk with Reiner after so many years and like I, I think we're probably going to know what actually happened with Eren why is he here like what's his plan why is he like this like he doesn't have a leg as far as i can remember and what the actual hell is happening in paris island so i'm guessing we're going to like learn all of those things so yeah let's start without further ado let's get started with episode number five of attack on titan the final season okay i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here so you to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh, a disclaimer. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Okay, that's a really interesting thought. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Rhino's face is like Oh boy, you don't even know. Mm. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Guess what? Like, um, like you have four years worth of talking to do, and. I'm sure like Aaron has a lot of new stories to tell Reiner and us as well. Like what the actual hell happened? That's the main question. <clears throat> Damn, Reiner was extremely like uh sub not surprised, but his face was like f like hanging open out and like his eyes became like this kind of like i like obviously he, i like everyone knows that he would probably be surprised seeing aaron over there but i was not expecting him reacting at that extent like he was it feels as if like he has like seen a ghost <clears throat> but yeah like thinking about it like if he suddenly sees like Aaron, after like so many years, out in like Marley. Yeah, that would probably surprise anyone. <clears throat> okay, declaration of war. Okay. Azuma Gita. Oh, is this that lady uh, from the previous episode? I can't remember her face. Do 
Shiomi sama. Hmm. <clears throat> oh my god, Reiner is extremely... Oh, wait, did he transform to Titan form? Or is it something? Oh, he was threatening Reiner to turn into Titan form. My God. Yeah, he's like saying that I'm going to turn into my Titan form and up over there, everyone is like sitting. Oh, this is Annie's father. Okay, I, I was thinking, like, who is he? Oh, yeah, Leonhardt. Annie. Oh, what the hell? Damn. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> okay, Ren, let's hear your story. How and why? Yep. What? Oh, uh, mm, yeah. Aaron <laughs> is all calm and <laughs> let's hear the fabricated story. Like we still don't know which is fabricated. Hmm. Oh my god, they have like plays and everything. Oh. Okay. Okay, I think that guy. Yeah, the hero. Okay. Hmm.
Now the question is, like, if they really had that power, why did they not like come and like defeat them? Like that, like that shows that they are kind of fabricating the story. Oh uh, yeah. I'm going to talk about this later on. Like I have a few things to say, like say. Saving the world. Who is this guy? Like I'm feeling some kind of this, like this guy's yeah. This this must be someone else. It's, it's too suspicious. Is this Armin? He has blonde hair. Beard. <laughs> yeah. Okay, something is happening behind like Okay, who is this guy? He's extremely tall. So I, so I don't think is this Armin? Who is this? Yep, a very old friend. Yep. Make those brain cells. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you kind of led him here. I'll I'll read this afterwards. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is the correct one, isn't it? That is Helios. Helios or what? Helios. There. Yeah, this is the correct history. Why is this guy saying these kind of things in front of the Marlians? Yeah, and no one wants to attack because of that thing. He's he's saying everything.
All right, uh, I'm guessing this guy is going against the Marlion's wishes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> they are like discussing within each other like, like what should we do now? Like this guy blabbered out everything. Okay. No, oh, they're healing. Hmm. Okay, she saw that person, so. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, he is regenerating it now, okay. Those are like, like letters which were like informing his friends. Yeah. He's acting as a spy. Okay, I'm guessing everyone is here. But Aaron is not affected, yeah. He's He's not a no like Okay, so they are going that direction like they're like saying that everything is going to be Aaron's fault Like the original people are not in the fault here Yeah. Ex exactly. Her mom died. That was kind of Rhino's fault, like. for a stupid mission save the world yeah save
Damn, Aaron. Yeah, he is. Just like we are seeing everything from their perspective. Yeah. Yes, yeah, the same. Like bad and good people were will be everywhere. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but that was not your fault, like... Uh, Okay, he's going this direction. Okay, these are... Oh my god, they're getting ready. Okay. Okay. Run. Yeah! There it is! Declaration of war. Perfect timing. And that's how you declare a war. And he's dead. He just said that because I, like, I was born in this world, I don't want to die. And he died. Okay. So, a few questions. Who was that guy who, like, made uh, the, uh, uh, what was the girl's name? I forgot. Anyways, uh, the girl and the guy made them fall down into that like trap. Who was that guy? Like, mm, like he had like yellow, yellowish type of hair, I think. So the only person who had that type of hair was Armin, wasn't it? Or, or was there anyone else? Like it has been so long. I've seen all of these like. Uh, all of the kids that is like uh, J J John like yeah like Shasha Connie that I almost forgot like their hair color anyways like the only one I can remember having a uh, yellowish type of hair is Armin isn't it so is that Armin like he it seemed as if he's extremely tall so I don't know maybe someone else like who knows and Aaron is here. He said, My comrades are here. So, okay, so I'm guessing Mikasa is here as well. 
Levi and all of the others who knows we'll probably see and now here's the thing uh, like at first at the beginning I was kind of like I thought that what the hell is this guy saying like this no, Tiber guy like what is he saying like he is just blabbering out everything like uh, like King Fritz like these, these kind of things because he wanted peace and stuff like that which are I think the original version of the history that they have and I thought maybe is easy like deflecting from the others like uh, from the Marlians uh, is this some kind of a trick that he's using and uh, like I don't know and I was thinking like he is like blabbering out everything why are the Marlians not reacting the soldiers like uh, like the amount the, the impression that I have of the Marlian soldiers are that they're extremely like uh, what can I say like does not tolerate anything uh, amiss they like do not tolerate it at all and I am sure that if like Taibu was doing this like doing some kind of uh, like like tricking them they would have like immediately either like took him down like uh, removed him from that place or like something else just like silenced him just like that if he really was like kind of betraying them or like doing everything uh, uh, like kind of like uh, trying to deflect from them and I was really confused as to why they are not, not doing anything but turns out that this guy is like was saying those stuff of kind of words to like pin the blame like, pin the uh, blame on like Aaron and like the a few people uh, of the Paradise Island uh, so yeah so it, it was kind of like uh, like like he like the thing that he did was extremely like tricky and intelligent like at the beginning he started with the fabricated history that is like uh, like this helos guy uh, like uh, defeated uh, king freeze and stuff like that and then he says that those were wrong and he tells the original history that king freeze wanted uh, peace so he like kind of made a deal and went back and like uh, threaten them to like flatten the earth with the titans if they like attack them but in his heart he uh, knew that he would never do that and he just wanted to live in peace and then he brings up the whole thing about Aaron he says that but now there is this one guy who is not affected by the king's memories he is like trying to kill us all and we have to stand uh, like we have to unite and fight against him and everyone was like crying and everything and even the Eldens were moved like yeah good way dude like this guy really like um, like like did that psychological thing that mind game he played that well like uh, like doing this like thing he also like garnered the like Eldians uh, like affections as well he gained that like he said that no the Eldians are not in the wrong here the one in, in the wrong here is Aaron and the, and the other people who were like trying to kill us. They are in the wrong here. Which is kind of pinning the blame on another party. So yeah and he was so passionate and everything. Like I will like fight. I am I'm here. And I will like uh, because I'm here I don't want to die. And Aaron comes out. Blasts through the roof and smacks him. That's the end. Oh my god <laughs> so yeah and okay uh, let me just uh, like find the portion where they here it is like you know those the portion where like there's like this kind of yeah here it is the information available for public disclosure the Paris Island operation to retake the founding Titan a mission executed under the command of Theo Magath Four warriors were sent to complete the mission. Oh, this is the thing that uh, like they did. Marcel Galliard, Reiner Brown, Berthold Hoover, and Annie Leonhardt. Uh, their objective was to infiltrate Paradise Island, retake the founding titan, and return it to Marley. Five years after it began, two warriors were captured by the enemy, and one uh, other was killed. Uh, yeah. Two warriors were captured by the enemy and the other was killed. Okay, Berthold was killed, two warriors captured. Two warriors. Oh, okay, okay, oh, okay. Uh, two warriors were captured. Five years after it began, two warriors were captured by the enemy 
and the one other one was killed i'm i'm guessing uh, not berthold but the talking no uh, what the two warriors who were captured were um reiner and annie and uh, like marcel uh, like already died like uh, he was not killed by uh, uh, the titans like he was just eaten by ymir and okay though a prisoner possessing the jaw titan was brought back to Marley of the original members, only Reiner returned safely. Wait a minute, so are they like fabricating this as, as well? Like, uh, other one was killed. I'm guess. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, the one that was killed, they are mentioning about like they're talking about Berthold. Okay, the two warriors that were captured was uh, Annie and Reiner, and Reiner came back. Okay, okay, it's fine. And they are not mentioning anything about Marcel. Okay, all right, uh, this is the thing that we already know. Um, all right, so yeah, and the thing here is like, uh, like Reiner and the warriors were not at fault. Like I can say that. Like the thing that they did was com at least completely not their fault. It was at it was their fault, partially. Like uh, the half or even more uh, of the fault lies uh, on the Marlians. Like they like did this kind of uh, thing about like saying that the world is in danger just because they want like Paddy's Islands like like resources and want the power of the Titan because of the greed they are using the Eldians and make training them as warriors sitting back in their couches sipping tree and drinking wine and like letting them go and fight for their lives in uh, in an enemy territory like that's how messed up this thing is and because of that reiner and like uh, berthold had to like uh, like destroy the wall uh, in season one and everything that like transpired like happened there and now here's the thing like he like they were tasked with uh, getting the founder titans like power but the founder titan obviously at that time was uh, I forgot the girl's name I'm sorry like there are so many names in this anime uh, the girl who was like Historia who like who like Historia who, uh, who, the girl who Historia like loved uh, that girl like I'm not talking about Yumi not that uh, like not that kind of love I'm talking about respected like when her mother did not like uh, take care of her at all and everything uh, the girl who like came and like visited her historia and historia was really like fond of her uh, i cannot remember her, her name uh, anyways uh, like she she had the founding titan's power at that time and now as far like like from season three we got to know that uh Aaron's dad went there and pleaded them to just help them just uh, like go, like please help us uh, that I, I, titans are attacking our village is being like destroyed and stuff like that but obviously the like uh, king's memories and everything kind of did not like let the person who is possessing uh, that founding titan's power uh, to like attack or like to go into like in, in the offensive uh, position so she did not help Aaron's dad and Aaron's dad was like kind of like forced not forced but uh, he like forcefully took that founding titan's power uh, injected Aaron uh, with this uh, like serum and like uh, made him transform into a titan and eat him and like all of these things started so all of those things happened because Reiner and like uh, Berthold and all of them destroyed the wall and this mess started because of that and this thing is the fault of the Marlians just because they wanted the founding titan's power and the resources that are being like uh, that are under like Paddy's island like just because of that now i'm not sure if there are any other kind of like missions they had like any other kind of secret that they are like uh keeping because uh like until now i think these two were the only uh reason that has been uh told to us that these are the two reasons why they like wanted like they attacked uh, Paddy's Island and like the, the natural resources and the founding Titan's power 
so i'm not sure if there they have any other kind of goal or something else because obviously this is attack on titan who knows maybe there's something else hidden we will probably get to know later on i don't know this is just something that i <laughs> like you cannot like take everything at face value in this anime at least so yeah and as aaron said that it, it is not your fault like uh you were a kid like everything has been drilled into you into your skull and like it has been like made like people kind of trained you brainwashed you in a way that you thought that yeah the eldians are devil spawn we should kill them like they are the worst and that's the reason why you came here destroyed uh, the wall did your mission and stuff like this happened so it, technically it's not your fault uh like and as Aaron also said another thing that i also came here i stayed with you guys there are good people bad people within you guys as well so like it's the same everywhere so yeah it's kind of like a really weird kind of thing like the people who attack them are also kind of not actually at fault here the marlians are at fault and so and Aaron still has that thing in his mind that destroying each and every one, uh, destroying the enemy of humanity. Uh, okay, just a sec. Uh, let me just check one thing. Yeah, until I destroy my enemies. Like, th this was until I destroy the Titans before in season one. But now it is until I destroy my enemies, because, yep, that uh, like things have changed. And uh, like Reiner also kind of like freaked out at the whole thing because obviously there is still a thing within him, like the whole thing with Marcel, and the whole thing with uh, after he realized that he was kind of the reason why, uh, like Aaron and everyone there who was living there lost their loved ones and like all of those stuff happened because of them just because they like destroyed the wall after like realizing all of these things like whatever you do however you kind of like uh drill this thing in their mind there is a thing called conscience inside you like the conscience will always like poke you and say that no you, you've done something wrong and this is not something that you should have done and that was the thing that happened with ryan his conscience was like poking at him always and always like uh like making him like suffer because of the things that he had did and yeah it's kind of sad uh, like thinking about reiner like he like he's a good guy but the circumstances that he is under he was under was not something that like let him keep his good behavior like he had to change <sighs> like everyone is like that like all of the like i i'm still not sure about uh, what zeke's plan is like what is he like uh planning or what he's doing what his actual intentions are like why he like uh uh like informed like uh the marlins about his parents why he like let them die like that i'm not sure what his actual intentions are but um at least like uh, excluding uh, Z, I can say that all of the Eldians are kind of the victim of the, of the circumstances and the victim of uh, like the Marlians. Uh, I'm like, I'm excluding uh, Z because I still don't know what his actual plans are and what he wants or what he wanted. So I'm keeping him as an exception. So, but like, yeah, like, I don't know, like this is a really complicated thing. There's no bad or good like distinction in an attack on Titan. Like everyone has then done bad things and at the same time even if like people have done bad things, it's not technically that they are bad or they're evil. Like the same thing with Reiner, Berthold, Annie. Yeah. And I'm still not sure like uh they were kind of uh, like I'm still not sure wh wh who that guy was um, who like led them to a trap 
and I'm guessing this is the comrades that uh, Aaron was talking about and yeah things are going to get uh, interesting next episode uh, we're probably going to get a lot of action in the next episode because Aaron transformed into a titan and like just killed this Tiber damn like I'm like looking at it now like his legs are completely turned his head is like 180 degree turned his back is like squeezed like a like you know the the clothes rags that you oh my god <laughs> okay I should stop hmm. okay uh... All right, so just a sec. Uh, let me just look at this uh, guy, this soldier. Just a sec. Like I'm trying to f figure it out who the hell he actually is. I cannot recognize his voice as well. Like, okay, I can see that he has like yellowish hair, and his hair is like short hair. And a bit, little bit of a, like a kind of a, kind of like a mop. Okay. And Peak says that I feel like I have seen you somewhere before. Who are you? Where are you from? Why does Peak recognize him? His voice, like he also has a little beard. And he's extremely tall. Okay. Okay, so. Okay. Who is this guy? Like, we can see his face, but. No, this is not Armin. Uh, I don't think this is Armin. Like, he has a beard. Uh, that might be false. Okay. <laughs> that might be a disguise. But, like, his eyes is kind of sharp. I think that's someone else. That is not Armin. I don't know. We'll probably uh, like get to know in the next episode. Okay. Yep. That's it. That was this episode. And another thing I'm like thinking is like Falco kind of like uh I don't know, like I'm feeling bad for Falco because it is kind of like as if like he got tricked and he might feel bad of that because of that. Like uh he might like blame himself later on for like this day. And this must also like this might make him also kind of hell bent on revenge or stuff like that. I don't know. Like if somehow his friends are somehow hurt, like uh, Gabi or like the others, I think he is probably going to like blame him for the rest of his life after this, or he might like like go on the path of revenge just like Aaron. Like yeah, like this is extremely ironic. Like Aaron is doing the thing that like Reiner and Berthold did to him in his childhood. Yeah, that's kind of sad and like really ironic. But obviously, like Aaron doesn't give a damn now. He like he, like he is too f like too far gone down the like dark path. Like there's no coming back. Like any one of them. So like they just have to like keep going. Uh, like until and unless like they. Uh, reach their own destruction i don't know anyways guys so yeah the main like the main uh thing that i really feel bad about this is like nothing like of like of this would have happened if aaron's mom did not die like in season one like aaron's the main thing that kind of like drives aaron forward is like Seeing his mom's mom die in front of him 
and like this revenge thing comes from that and if like Reiner Berthold like as Reiner said that everything is kind of his fault because he like uh, did not let the others go away like he said that no we should stay and do our mission like if Annie Berthold and Reiner went back none of this would have happened but I'm guessing in some way something must might have happened because obviously the Marlians wouldn't like let them go so easily they would probably like uh, send another like unit with another few like warriors who would probably do the same thing so yeah it's kind of pointless like unless and until the like marlins were like taken care of same thing would have happened either way so who knows anyways guys so yeah that was uh this episode uh this was uh attack on titan the final season episode number five so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel if you haven't subscribed and comment down below your opinion about this episode about that account titan anything in general i'll be sure to check them out but no spoilers so yeah guys um i'll be back with another episode of attack on titan the next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day